and welcome back. Hey, beginning on July the 24th, there's an exhibition, and we want you to be there. It features the contribution of a women street artist, and it's going to kick off at the El Barrio, the art space over there. And joining us with the details, we have she, we have graffiti and visual art, Lady K. Fever, and you're wondering if I'm going to say your name right because I see you watching. <laughs> <laughs> and curator, look at Janina, Janina Gutierrez. Did I say it right? You said it right. All right, yeah. there we go. Yeah. Welcome, guys. Welcome to the show. Now, you were here before. Yes, yeah. I was here last year um, also promoting a show for um, El Barrio's Art Space uh -huh. with uh, Carlos David. Right, 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 right. I remember that. I remember yeah. that. So you have an exhibition, another one coming up. Tell us about it. Yep. So, um, Presence, it's called uh, Presence Women in Street Art, uh -huh. now, then, now, and forever. And the show is um, featuring 10 well-known female street artists um, spanning like the past 30 years, including some contemporaries. Yeah. And the show speaks about the relevance of having women in, present in street art. Now, a lot of people, for those who do, do not know, street artists are graffiti artists and yes. people who... Because I see a lot of people, sometimes you'll sit there and I'll just go like this. Is this a street artist too? No. So with, um, with street artists, so what I'm including in the show, there are, like, for example, Miss Lady K. She is a graffiti artist. Uh, there's a few street artists, meaning that are muralists. And uh -huh. then there's uh, street photographers. So, yes. and, that, and that's a really big um, kind of definition that although it's been around since like the 60s and 70s saying street art, uh -huh. that's become a real kind of separation. Before it used to be like graffiti artists use spray paint uh -huh. and that like there are certain elements to it, but I think it's how you, if you're a street artist, you can still be a graffiti, I like graffiti artists back in the 70s called themselves street artists because they were doing art uh -huh. in the streets. So I guess um, what Gia is doing is putting it kind of together, looking at the 360, kind of like what you're asking is like, what is the definition and just kind of answering with, For each, those who don't for, know, with yeah. each artist too, because yeah. each woman has their own style and, and kind of their own definition of who they are as well on the street. How do you find these people? Um, I myself am you a- You are a street artist. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I am not in the show, but um, in general, most of my circle, I'm s very grateful to be surrounded by amazing female, powerful women yeah, yeah, in the yeah. scene. So when I got approached with this project by High Arts, this is uh, sponsored by High Arts, um, I said I have just the right lineup. That's golden. Yeah. That's beautiful. And actually, yeah. Shiro, who did your, um, she's also in the show. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> Excellent. All right, so you have some wonderful women around you. Yes. How did you guys meet? Oh, G and I met at a, she was curating at a, a place called Camaradas that's in the barrio, uh -huh. I think 115th and 1st. And so we'd been floating around. I'd seen her artwork because most I times... I like what she says, barrio. Bar barrio. Yes. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, um, and she, I met her through doing a show there and we'd kind of been floating around and because we both are street artists and um, in that circle, we kind of knew each other. But really, I curate as well, so she and I like to work together uh, and, and do stuff. So this is a really great opportunity to be part of this. Yeah. How often do you guys put on a show? Um, I curate every so often. I kind of took a little break to focus on my work. So when I was approached um, with this project, uh, for me, it's very much a passion project because it speaks about the experiences that we have as women creating art on the streets, dealing with the public, mm -hmm. um, dealing with a still very white male dominated world in which yeah. the street art realm is. Um, so for me, it's important to have these voices and also to have, I, as myself, coming up as a street artist and as a fine artist, for me, mm -hmm. it was very important to see women out there succeeding and exhibiting and doing big things. Yeah. So. Does your art have a, a theme like you have it in this category or a certain well, category? Or are you just spread it across? Or is it just what you think? Is it political? Is it that I mean that's interesting because it really depends on on the woman. But I feel like street art, I mean that's a conversation in the United States and we can get into but it's political. I mean, in a lot of yeah. other countries in the world, they see graffiti or street art, any kind of art as being political on the street because it takes a lot for someone to publicly go and announce something 
visually and take yeah. on that ownership or or responsibility. So it is, I mean, I feel like all the women involved that Gia has curated are political in our own way. We yeah. have different themes. I mean, the biggest thing we always get asked is like, are, is it, are you focusing on female, whatever, but obviously we all are female. So that's just an underlying, um, that's going to be every day, all day yeah. long. So yeah. I think it really depends on who's bringing, and especially Gia's put the term uh, presence on it, which is, it, it can go so many different directions. So each artist is kind of bringing their own idea and response to her question of what's presence. Yeah. So, so presence means now, today, what's happening today? Presence. Presence, um, in context of this show, presence is the forever presence, like the presence of women back then. For example, we have... Um, okay, I, I got you, I got you. Right, got so you. like... Yeah. Just the okay. and the importance of being present, mm -hmm. the importance of us and the rise of our presence, and yeah. just being that that force Here that I is am. always there. Exactly. Yeah. This is what we represent. This is what we're putting we're forward. Always this is what we stand for. <laughs> right, and it's yeah. kind of like not putting that like as you said, you put that perfectly. Like being a woman is all day, every day. This is has nothing to do, and it's just really like we're artists. But yeah. with our female experience, our voices in the public art realm are extremely crucial. Yeah. Are you in line with everything that's um, getting ready to happen as far as Election Day in November? Because there's, there's, there are lots of movements. Oh, yeah. Women are, like seem to be in the forefront of a lot of it. The now is female. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. And I had the pleasure of working with Sandy Ocasio. Uh-huh. Uh, which I also have an artist in the show that's painting a portrait of her, so that's going to be exciting. But um, absolutely, the time is now, which is why I felt this um, this project is so important right Excellent. now. Excellent. All right. Yeah. So the exhibition is coming up. It's coming up. How can up. people see it? They can come to El Barrio's art space in the high arts space. Mm -hmm. It's on uh, 215 East 99th Street between 2nd and 3rd Avenues. Mm -hmm. um, the show will open Tuesday, July 27th at 7 p.m. We are 24th, I'm yeah. sorry. July 24th? <laughs> yes. I'm so sorry. Through the 27th? No, no, I'm sorry. July 24th through August 18th. Oh, okay. All right. So we'll be up for four weeks. So we got some time to go see it. Oh, yeah. And I'm also going to be hosting a free workshop, which I would like to invite um, all the young ladies. We're going to be doing a collaborative workshop, creating vision boards, mixed media works, and this is also going to take place at uh, El Barrio's right. Art Space. All the ladies in the house say, ah. <laughs> what, is there a website we can go to? Absolutely. Um, highartsnyc.org. Uh -huh. uh, you can also follow me on Instagram at artbygia. That's A-R-T-B-Y-G-I-A. Uh -huh. There you go. Gia or Jania. Oh, Janina. Janina. <laughs> I knew you would get it. I knew you would get it. <laughs> and Lady K, graffiti and visual artist. Thank you guys yes, so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for thank coming. You. And we have to take a quick break, but uh, coming up next, we'll look at a, uh, an upcoming Bronx talent show. But first, let's check out a Bronx summer hip-hop event.